I was like in the bed and I was like, for some reason, I don't know if I'm 32 weeks or 33 weeks. So I did the math and put it in like the pregnancy calculator and indeed I am 33 weeks. So I just felt, started feeling like anxious, like, oh my gosh, I have even, have even less time than I thought. It's not that I don't want you here. Welcome back to another day, another vlog. Um, my I have a I have a um what is it called? Home visit today. I actually think I might hear her else. I don't know. I had to start the car door shut. She may be here, but I just wanted to update y'all real quick. Um, trying to calm myself down just because I'm starting to feel really anxious for some reason. Um, yesterday. I was like in the bed and I was like, for some reason, I don't know if I'm 32 weeks or 33 weeks. So I did the math and put it in like the pregnancy calculator and indeed I am 33 weeks. So I just felt, started feeling like anxious, like, oh my gosh, I have, I have even less time than I thought. So in my head, I'm going to deliver at 38 weeks. So if I'm 33 weeks, that means I'm going to deliver in five weeks instead of six. So I just started feeling like, just a little anxious. I'm trying to calm myself down. And then today, I've been having... I see my midwife pulling up now. Um, today, I've been having Braxton Hicks. I probably had about like five or six within like two or three hours. No, it was like two and a half hours. So, I just want to... I think it's more so just mental. I need to calm down. Um, that... So y'all are definitely going to see a get ready with me video for this baby soon because I am going to be purchasing pretty much like everything I need in the next day or two just because I have to get myself together. This can't be, I can't, sorry, I'm like guessing. I can't keep feeling this way. So, um, yeah, so today, um, 33 weeks. I'm going to bring you along with me for um, my home visit. I do have a few questions for the midwife. Pregnancy brain is in like full effect because I was in the middle of like writing down the, question, the questions I had for her and I got to question number one and then like for question number two, I completely blanked out. I cannot, I cannot remember what, I, what else I needed to ask her. Hopefully it will come to me in the midst of our, in the middle of like our visit or whatever, but I don't know. I had a few questions for her and now I'm like drawing a blank. But yeah, I think I'm just really anxious though. More so because the house, not even just like renovating for baby. So like, I know I'm delivering at home and like, after, like we're going to be mid bathroom renovation. Like I really want the bathroom to be done in like two weeks. And I don't know if that's going to be realistic. So if it's not done, I feel like after I have the baby, I won't have anywhere to like, shower i mean i will i can shower in like the, the bathroom that the kids use which is fine but it's just like further away i don't know i just want everything to be kind of convenient and um you know i don't know like every time the the kids bathroom they don't maintain their bathroom um the same way that i do so that's that and then what else just like y'all know, we're still in the middle of the kitchen, kitchen renovation. So I'm just like, this is insane to me. Like, my life is always like this. Like, it's always something going on. I just want it to be peaceful. I just want to relax. I just want things to be in place. And it's just not that. So, I'm trying to get my mental together. My husband told me pretty much I just need to focus on the mental, not all the other stuff. So that's what I've been trying to do, but it's kind of hard. I thought that was my midwife. I don't see her. Hopefully my appointment is today. I told y'all my my brain is all over the place. So I will check back in with y'all when um she gets here and we'll go from there. Hey, <laughs>
Today, the baby is pointing directly his, his, her, their back to your tummy. So, what head like end? Head I can tell you just a second. I just saw like all that movement or whatever it was. I'm like, hopefully it's not changing position uh, too much. <laughs> nope. Alrighty. So, one little hand here. So, I don't know what you feel up at the top is indentable. If I can push in on this, sorry if that hurts. And then what's down here is hard as a rock. So yeah, the head's right underneath my ring finger, but here. That's still not too big. I don't even know if you're... See, last time we were on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think, maybe we're getting right to four pounds. Three and a half, maybe, but little. Hi, friend. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, you're perfect. All right, I'll take that. Yes, <laughs> indeed. All right. So my visit today was short and sweet. I'm outside now. It probably lasts about like 20 minutes. We just did oh, went over my vitals. I don't even know what my blood pressure was. I don't think she said it out loud, but I did only record it when she was doing the um the heart rate which was 140. So that's how the visit went. She just told me to relax. And just because I'm having back breaks and hicks doesn't mean I'm in preterm labor, which is, I mean, I knew that, but you know, it's nice to just hear it again. Now I'm just sitting outside. Lawrence is riding his bike. That's what y'all hear in the background. If y'all can hear it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I told her I like, I needed to order like my birth kit. Jeez. Oh goodness. Let me make him quiet. Quiet it. Wait, Lawrence. Wait a second, okay? Wait one second. So I told her I needed to order a birth kit. She said she had like an extra one in her office, so I don't need to worry about that. We went over like the benefits and stuff like that. She said it'll be fully covered, so that's good news. Um I don't know. What else? We just went over like stuff like that. Oh, um, I'm gonna send in the information so I can get my breast pump through like my insurance and stuff. I think I'm gonna go with the Medela pump, like the advanced Medela pump. I always get that one. Um, I will say like those Medela pumps cost like hundreds of dollars. The best pump I've ever had that I don't even know if they make it anymore, but it was like a Playtex pump. That was from like probably 12 years ago. But it was like super comfortable like the Medela pump that the part that actually goes like on your the nipple area your chest it's hard so that was like super that was kind of uncomfortable for me but the playtex one was soft so like and it had like a good suction so it really got the milk going um maybe more even more so than like what i needed because i was like overproducing at that point but all in all the visit went well she told me to relax um, just keep drinking fluids though, definitely. And that's what I'm gonna do. She's gonna bring the next visit, she's gonna bring the birth pool. And, um, what else did she say? The birth pool, whatever. The only thing she told me I probably really need to order is a, um, like a mattress cover and just put that on in the upcoming weeks just in case my water breaks while I'm in the bed or something like that. Um, or if I wanna like labor, you know lay down at some point it's just to have that mattress cover on there so i will get that i'll put that on around week 35 36 <sighs> um i think that's it y'all it is a beautiful day out another lawrence is doing too much <laughs> it's another beautiful day out so i am going to try to enjoy the weather and that's it me and baby gonna re enjoy the weather Right? <laughs> so 
that's what I'm gonna do today. I will talk to you guys later. At this point, I'm sure y'all think I live in a car. <laughs> because I'm always talking to y'all in the car, car, um, excuse me. <clears throat> Wanted to jump on here really quick because I'm like, I don't know, a little chit chat. I'm semi fresh, well not semi, I'm beyond frustrated that the kitchen isn't done. So I'm trying to, but I'm also like, you know, I understand that it's a process. Um, <clears throat> today in the midst of the kitchen not being done, my husband did manage to cook on the, what is it? Like the little, the two, the two burners. We got like a hot pot. So he made some rice and some chicken on that. So I'm eating that on the go. And I'm just looking at the bright side. At least we can still cook like a little bit. And um, like I know last weekend I went to my parents' house to cook. I'm going to have to do that again because that was really beneficial. That got us through the week. Um, we didn't have to order out. Yesterday I did order out. Um, but today I'm not going to. But right now I'm on my way to. Um, where am I on my way to? Take my daughter to a, um, a basketball game. So that's the bright side. Although, you know, the house isn't right. The kitchen ain't right. I don't have everything I need for baby. All is still well. Um, it's funny because when I was growing up. I didn't really like basketball. Out of I, all my siblings, <clears throat> every pot, everybody played basketball except me. I ran track, so everybody um, played basketball. But now my daughter really likes basketball, and it's like I'm. I think some days I feel like I'm more into it than her. <laughs> Not really, but I enjoy it just as much as her. So like it's March Mad March Madness right now. So we're gonna go to some of like the March Madness basketball games. But right now it's like the high school. She's she's in middle school, but it's like the high school like finals, semifinals game. So we're gonna go to that today and tomorrow. So that's fun. That's the bright side. The glass is always half full here. But yeah, just wanted to check in with y'all and just let y'all know that in the midst of things going on, just try to find the joy. That's all you can do. Ain't no need to sitting around pouting. Because another thing, although the kitchen isn't done, we're still eating, you know? It may not be the meals that I want to prepare. Everything may not always have a vegetable with it and a starch and, you know, but the kids don't care. They don't. Half the time when I make all the, like, the meals that touch everything on the pyramid, they don't want it all anyway. <laughs> it's more a me thing. So, yeah, just wanted to tell y'all that's, that's what's going on today. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Y'all see my hair is still in. This is crazy. This is absolute. Ooh, excuse me. This is absolutely crazy. I was in the middle. I actually have like three braids in the back that I already started taking out, but I was like, I might, I might as well stop taking them out since I'm like go, not going to be home today or tomorrow, and then I have to work during the day, so I don't really have time to do my hair. So I'm going to have to try to get around to doing it. Maybe like today, maybe like Friday, I'll get around to taking my hair out. But yeah, I was going to get some more braids in, but I don't know. Y'all know I've been having headaches. I'm starting to think maybe it's the, my husband was saying maybe it's the, um, maybe it's my braids, but I'm like, how can it be my braids? Like as far as like a tension headache, but I'm wondering how can it be my braids if they're so old? Like they're not tight, but although they're not tight, they're still pulling. Like, you know what I mean? I still pull them. Like when I'm pulling them in the ponytail or like, I'll take two pieces of hair from the back and like tie it. And like that's right where it's hurting, right in the back of my head. So I'm wondering. I'm 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 curious. Like once I take out these braids, if my head will stop hurting. But it's not just the um the back. It's it's here too. It's funny because the the um the headache is actually starting to dissipate. Earlier it was like throbbing. Like 20 minutes ago it was throbbing. Like I needed everybody to be quiet. I just had to shut my eyes for like three or five, like a few minutes, just to like try to get it to um kind of taper taper off. But right now, I'm okay. I was about to take Tylenol, but I really try not to take any type of um, medicine while I'm pregnant. But I was about to take Tylenol, but I didn't. Um, but it's starting to go away. So I'm starting to wonder if it's the braids. What do y'all think? I know when I was younger one day, <clears throat> like when I was younger, <clears throat> one day I had like, I don't know, like some ponytails in. Like my mom must have did my hair. You know what? My mom didn't do my hair. 
this is why you don't let people paint playing your hair. I was at like this club. Like I used to go to a place called like the Boys and Girls Club. And this one girl, she did my hair. You know, it was nice. She put like ponytails in it or whatever. And I wore my hair like that, like for a few days, I guess. Oh my God, my head was hurting so bad. Didn't know what it was. And then I don't know what it was. Maybe somebody else was playing in my hair again. They took the braids out. I mean, they took the, the um, ponytails out and the pain went away immediately. I was so, I was like flabbergasted. Like, oh my God, it was the ponytails. So maybe I just have like a sensitive scalp when it comes to like things pulling on my head. So I'm definitely going to take these out in like the next day or two. I wish I had enough energy today. I'll take these out, do a nice wash, blow dry. And I was going to get my braids right back in. But I think I'm going to give them a break. I got my hair cut recently. So I was trying to like do some protective styles. One, have my hair go back. Two, um... I didn't want to be worried about doing my hair like during this pregnancy. So I was just going to keep braids, but I'm about ready to take, get my hair a little, let my hair breathe. So I think I'm going to do that. Let it breathe for like a month. And then I'll get these, I'll get some braids back in once um, I get closer to the delivery date. Cause I'm definitely going to have braids for when I deliver. Hopefully if all goes according to plan, I plan to have braids for when I deliver. So I don't have to worry about my hair for like a month or two. And I can just focus on the baby. You know, that whole thing. But yeah, other than that, I just want to tell y'all, hey girl, on the check-in. And that's it. Um, I will talk to y'all. Maybe I'll, I'll show y'all some of the game, I guess, when we get there. I wanted to go, I was planning on um, actually going out to eat, but my husband ended up cooking. So I said, guess what? Trisha's going to save a dollar, you know? She's definitely going to save a dollar when she can. So I'm just eating on the go, some rice and chicken. I will talk to y'all later. Peace. Oh, love. Logan. Section seven. This whole vlog is just filmed in the car at this point. <laughs> I do apologize in advance because I know the lighting is probably not that great. I'm trying to, I don't know. <sighs> well, it's Friday after a long, a very long, a very long week. It is finally Friday. I thought I was about to get off work. Like my work week has been so busy. I, I don't know if my, if, I don't know what's going on, but my work week has been extremely busy. So I just knew I was about to get off work. <clears throat> I was about to get off work, take these old behind braids out finally, and then like find something good to eat and just chill. My sister-in-law called me and told me, asked me, was I bringing the kids to the birthday party? And I'm, I'm like, what birthday party? <laughs> so um, I ended up, now I'm sitting here at outside of the, the party the kids are in a place called like urban air jumping around and playing and there is a bye-bye baby right here so i'm gonna go in here and look at some baby stuff and just try to walk around for a little bit um see what they got so let's go see this is cute it's neutral but i love this part open me i'm magnetic Nice and convenient. That's cute. 